there guys welcome back to the channel thanks so much for watching today today we are back with another Funko Pop mystery box unboxing for you I guess we can call this one mystery box Monday yet again and this time we have another mystery box that we are bringing you from boom a lot toys and boom a lot toys has really become one of my go-to's for mystery boxes because they are consistent do one every week and they normally have some pretty good pops you can get with them with them being guaranteed value so i have gotten some pretty decent pulls in the past i know i got one of my uh, scooby-doo pops fred from there which i was definitely excited i believe i pulled a chase from there one time as well so i've gotten some good stuff from those boxes and so i went ahead and ordered from them again as this time they had one of their vaulted and exclusive mystery boxes so i ended up ordering i believe i got two in here go ahead and crack these open and see they ended up being 65 dollars each and they were guaranteed value so there should be some pretty good stuff in these boxes and we can see the photo I'll throw up right here that there were a lot of really great things in there i see two can sandwich be one of my tops i see that there's a black and white loki in there uh, they have a lot of the conan figures from san diego comic-con so there's a lot of those figures in there that I really would enjoy. Some of them I already do have, like the Scooby-Doo art series. I would, you know, prefer not to get those, but a lot of them in there are really good. So I saw enough in that photo, and I did see also the Moon Knight, which would be a really big grail to hit right now, since with I think that pop is up to like a hundred dollar value. And when the show comes out later this month, I'm sure that will skyrocket even more to like 150, almost 200. So that would be a huge, huge hit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and crack this box open here and see what we can find. But before we get into it, make sure you guys do go down below and hit that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and leave a like on the video as well. And we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so help us hit that goal. And a like will go a long way, so we'd very much appreciate it. So I believe each box, like I said, was $65. And uh, each box inside has two pops, I believe. And so as long as each pop is worth like $35... We are getting our value back, and there are definitely an opportunity for us to get some pops that are worth a whole lot more than that. And as always, they do normally pack it pretty well, which I do like. Lots of paper on top. It looks like they have them kind of taped together with the two pops together. And they, of course, have their Boom Lot mystery boxes on there. Boom Lot, um, mystery lot boom box is what they call them. So if you guys are looking, it's just boomlot.com is their website. You can go ahead and check them out. They post theirs every Monday, I believe, at uh, 6.30 Pacific, so 9.30 Eastern every week. You'll be able to find their mystery boxes there, and they are pretty good. And so they announce what the theme is that week. It's 6 o'clock Eastern, and then later that day, about 30 minutes before they launch or an hour before they launch, they'll post a photo of all, a lot of the different pops that you can find inside and there's normally like 80 100 boxes so whatever you see in that picture you have a really good chance of getting so my number one hit would definitely be that toucan sam or the moon knight i would really love either of those but honestly i really just want something with good value and something that i can fit into the collection so why don't we start with the one on the left and we'll see what pop we have and then of course at the end we'll take a look at all the values for the pops so let's go ahead and open this i don't know if this is upside down or not but we'll see here in a second, I guess. So it's three, two, one. Uh, what is it? You guys can see it. Is it something good? Please let me see here. Oh, look at that. We actually got the flocked Inusaki from Chalice Collectibles. That's a really cool one. It actually looks like they put a little bubble wrap on the back for some extra protection. Front is a little bit pushed in, but nothing too crazy. You can't really notice it on camera. It is a little bit on the back, so it's not in perfect condition, but it is a pretty cool pop. I think we did take a look at this pop previously uh, on the channel here, but it is definitely a really awesome pop. I do like the flocked one, and they do have a chase with this. Of course, this is not the chase. The chase, I think, is him with the uh, mask off, but this is definitely still a really cool one. And if I had to guess, it's probably in the $35 to $40 range because it is a really popular figure. And that's a good hit off the bat. I do like that. So let's go for over to number two. There we go. Okay. Let's reveal. Is it something good? Let's see. And it is. Oh, it is actually Vision from Avengers Infinity War. I do already have this one. But it is a really great figure. It's actually with the special edition sticker. And I believe this is actually the reprint from this year. Or the 
yeah, so it's actually the reprint that got made in 2021 that you can see there on the bottom. It does say 21. So this is a newer figure reprint, and we do have the original actually right behind us here. So I do not need this one, but it is a really great pop. And I know a lot of people are going to be looking for this. So with that being reprinted here, I wonder if it's going to hit Hot Topic at some point. That'd be a little bit weird because I thought this was a vaulted pop, but I guess now with WandaVision and Vision being really, really popular again, I guess Funko wanted to go ahead and reprint it, so they jumped on that, which I don't blame them. It's just a little bit weird that now they're making it because Infinity War came out in 2018, so the fact that now all those years later, four years later, now they want to bring it out again, it is kind of weird. But I definitely know that Vision does have some pretty good value to it. I don't know how much it dropped because of the restocks internationally. It was at one point when WandaVision was in the hype of its craze. It was in the, around the $100 range. And we actually purchased it like the second week WandaVision came out. We were able to find this pop at our local comic book shop. We found it for $25. And then immediately after that, it shot up to $100. And then I think it flowed around the $70 range. So I'm guessing it's probably somewhere between $50 and $70 which would definitely be a really good get. So my opinion, box number one, not too shabby at all. But let's go ahead and reach into box number two and see what we can get for this one and if it's any better. So here are our next two boxes broken apart. And we'll go ahead and open this one first here. And let's see if maybe we have the Toucan Salmon here Moon Knight. Who knows? But let's see. Let's open it up in three, two, one and there we go is it good ah so slowly oh okay hitachi uh shino uh shinso from my hero academia i've never actually seen this pop in person but it definitely is a cool looking figure and this is a vaulted one from 2019 from gamestop and GameStop has not really been restocking that many figures. They've not only done really a select few over the past year or so. I'm not sure if this one's going to be restocked because it's not really a huge character in My Hero. But it definitely is a really cool one. So I'm sure that this one probably has a value of somewhere around $30, $40. My guess if they're putting in mystery box like this. You see he has the UA uniform on which is pretty cool. I do like this pop. It's actually from this line in 2019 that we see there on the back. So that's pretty sick. I think this is a pretty good pull. And we have one more pop left to go. And I think so far we're surpassing our values. We'll see if the second one is could be a nice like $50 plus or maybe the big grails uh, that we saw in the picture. That would be awesome. But let's see what we can. Oh, I think it might be this way. But let's see. Three, two, one. Reveal. Ooh, I want to see here. We got, oh, it's actually Sailor Jupiter from Sailor Moon. I'm not sure what the value of this one is because I know at one point I did come across some of these other pops and I know the values did drop, drop a lot. And this one is actually from 2020, it looks like. So I'm not sure what the value of this one is. This might have been a reprint. But it is a part of the line with like Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Tuxedo Mask there. And as you can see on the back, the box is in really good condition, which is nice to see. A couple little scratches on the box, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, I'm not sure what the value of this is. I know it's an anime pop, and I know Sailor Moon is very popular, so it might still have a little bit of value to it. Let's just hope it's one of the more higher valued ones. So there's our pulls for box number one and box number two for the Boom Lot Mystery Boxes. Uh, pretty cool pulls overall. I don't have either of these two in the collection, so that is pretty sick to see. Too bad I already got these ones. But hey, we'll go ahead and check out the values and see what we got. I think the goal is going to be about $75 total per, per box because I think it ended up being just about like $12 for shipping overall so if we can get past $75 per box that would definitely make it worth it all right so we ended up getting all the values for the pops that we got out of these boxes and so we'll go ahead and start with the first box here so the first pop we got which is the Unusaki Hashibira flocked chalice collectibles exclusive pop for demon slayer 
this one is going to be valued up at $42, which is a little bit more than I thought it was going to be with the special edition stickers a little bit less. And so this one with the child sticker does put it up at $42. I think that was a good start. And then the second one, which was the special edition sticker Vision from Avengers Infinity War, this one was valued at $48 with the special edition sticker. So definitely dropped a lot from the $100 that it was just about a year ago, which you'll see that's what restocks do to you. I mean, that's $90, that right there. So that's definitely above what we paid for the box. And then our second box here, which we started off by getting the Hitachi from My Hero Academia, that GameStop exclusive. This one's a little bit more valuable than what I thought. Valued up at $44 with that GameStop exclusive sticker. It is vaulted and a My Hero Pop, so I guess it makes a little bit of sense, so that's pretty cool. And then we also picked up Sailor Jupiter. And like I said, I know these pops did fall in value a lot last year, I guess because maybe there were some restocks, but it did end up holding a little bit of value and it's currently up at $37. So these two pops together end up coming to $81, which again is still above what we paid for the box. So that's a win in my book. And so between the four of them together, we end up getting a value of $171 and we paid right about, I want to say 130, 135, something like that that for these boxes maybe 140 with the shipping I think closer to that so it ended up being pretty good value out of what we actually paid for it and so overall I'm really happy with the experience of opening these mystery boxes like I said Boom Lot Toys has really become one of my go-to's for mystery boxes let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing that we ended up pulling today I would have to say hit this Hitachi Papa My Hero was the best one just because I am adding a little bit more My Hero to my collection. So it's a pretty cool to get that vaulted pop since it might not necessarily come back from GameStop. But these are all really great pops to add to a collection. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And of course, if you've ever picked up a Boom Lot Toys mystery box yourself or any other sort of mystery box you picked up recently, let me know what you ended up picking up. And of course, if you guys can, Make sure you hit that like button, it does help the video out a lot. And hit that subscribe button, help us on the road to 2K. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.